Well, today was our last day. Today day was nine. day nine. Day, day eight. Nine. Day nine. Eight. I day, don't know. Day nine. I think I day know. nine. It's Thursday. It's, we don't know. It's Thursday. <laughs> We don't know what day we're on anymore. Today's, today's our last day to do anything in London. Yeah. Um, we have one more night. We sleep and we, we get up early. We sleep and then we get up and go to the, the airport. airport. So, so this was our last day to do anything. And we didn't have anything planned because we just miscounted at home, truly. And so last night... Uh, we decided that we would go to um, Hampton Court, Hampton Court Palace. Uh, Palace, and we have been previously, and we loved it so, so much that we decided that we would go again, and so we got up this morning, and we ate some, uh, some Cadbury cakes, and uh, so uh, just because we've reviewed some stuff in the room and so we've been trying to eat on that stuff so that we don't have to pack it yeah, we've so, also saved money on breakfast we haven't had to go out and get breakfast anywhere i think the only thing i've missed um i really like patisserie valerie yeah we and, did have a really and, good breakfast though and we we did not go there at all this mm -hmm. trip and so uh, I think the past two times we've come, we've gone there, and this time we didn't. So I did miss doing that, but that's okay. Um, so we had our cakes, and then we went to Waterloo Station, and we uh, put more money on our Oyster cards yeah. because the guy at the ticket booth told us... It's cheaper if you just do the Oyster card than bu buying a ticket outright. And somebody had told me that in the comments way back, and I remembered that once he said that. Um, that if you just would use your Oyster card, it's a lot cheaper. And so that's what we did. Yeah. And it's, Although I do recommend that you buy your Hampton Court tickets online previously. They're a lot cheaper. I mean, a lot cheaper. Oh, really? Yeah. So, so just oh, buy them online. I didn't know that. Well, we couldn't have printed them here anyway. We could have well, bought them, but we couldn't have printed them. So, yeah. um, just buy them online before you leave. Figure out what day you're going to go. Buy them online. Be done with it. That way you've got them. It's, right. But it's well worth going. I, I like the place. Well, it was like an hour train ride. Yeah. yeah it right wasn't bad. Only wasn't because bad. you make you make every stop between here and there. Yeah. On the train. <laughs> and he, they never get up to a really, really fast speed because they're always stopping. having to stop. Right. Um, but uh, so by the time we got there, it was raining. And uh, so we uh, did, we had left our umbrellas in the room so we uh, rushed over. <laughs> we grabbed some free, we gra free yeah. newspapers. We grabbed a free no newspaper and held it over our head, and we ran to Hampton Court. Luckily, it's not very far. No, it's four or five minutes. So if you're thinking about going and you're afraid that, oh, it's in a different place, literally you get off the train you walk and up you go sidewalk. straight. And it's just, it's literally, there's a bridge, and it's right on the other side of the bridge. Yep, you turn a gate and it's there. Yes, it's no trouble to get to at all. Hmm. Um, so we walked all through there. It was freezing. It was very, very cold. Yeah, and, and the rain was, was, it was raining off and on. I think the rain made it even colder. Right. I think it cooled it down. So, so we didn't really go through the gardens much. Uh, we walked through one, the one area, went out to the fountain and came back, but that was about it. I think I said in the video, we're going to go through that maze, even if it's raining. No. Too cold. Because it got cold. It, I swear it got. When by the time we were gonna leave, it was colder than when we got there. Yeah, I truly, I truly feel. I didn't look. I didn't look to see what the temperature was. I think it was supposed to be in the fifties, um, mid fifties today is the high anyway. Yeah, it, it was just miserable. And for me, uh, you know, I must have been very, very cold for me to have missed out going to that maze because I was looking forward to it. That's the second time we've been there. We haven't been through the maze, but I told Kevin, I said, I just, I. I don't even have a desire to, just because I'm, I'm just too cold. I'm just freezing. Because we were going to go out to the garden. There's another garden to the side, like a like an actual flower flowers. garden and stuff. And we walked out there, and we got about a half. We got to the entrance gate to the garden. And Danny said, "I'm not walking through this. It's just way too cold just and too way cold. too wet and nasty." Oh, it was just miserable. So we turned around and walked. It was like a winter day, and it I told Kevin, "I said, you know, honey, if we were at home, I'd be wearing my winter, winter coat." coat. Yeah. I mean, that, that's how yeah, cold 50, it was. 54, 55 degrees is pretty it's cold. It's very cold. And with the wind blowing and the rain, yeah. it just makes you even colder. It does. Um, so so we had a good time. We enjoyed walking around the house and looking at everything. It was still nice. It's huge. Yeah. I mean, it's huge. And um, You get to Money's Worth, especially if you get the tickets cheaper online. 
they're doing a lot of uh, conservation stuff in there. They had some like bed linens they had taken down mm -hmm. uh, from a canopy bed. They had a part of the floor pulled up. If you watch the video though, you'll see all this. Um, you know what's neat about that though? They were doing it, but they didn't not explain what and how they were doing it. Yes. I thought it was really cool because they had a little video of them taking down all the bed frame and stuff like that and how careful they were with you it. You wouldn't believe how meticulous they are about that's just the taking... That was the, yeah, that's a good word for it. Yeah, uh, uh, taking down the, the canopy. Uh, they they built like scaffolding in order to take down this canopy. Mm -hmm. And then they would attach it to these things and like lower it down on, on these ropes very attached to something else. Very meticulous work. So, um, but then they're uh, redoing and, re and cleaning and all that stuff and all that stuff. But I thought that was really cool that even though there were things, there were a couple things missing or torn up, they were saying why and what they were doing. I thought yes. that was pretty cool. And it's just... Uh, Instead of just having a hole in the floor, they explained right. why and what they were doing to the hole in the floor. If you've never been, you should go. It's a um, neat place. I, there were only two areas that I was not allowed to film in, um, which I remembered one from the, the church. first time, which was the chapel. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, a, it's a Catholic church. It is a... Um, run. I don't want to say running. An active. An active. It's an active church, and right. they actually had a service while, while we, were we were there. Um, and anyone was welcome. If you wanted to go, you could go. Um, the other thing was new. They didn't have that gallery last. No, time. there was a gallery with some pictures. There was like a Andy Warhol of like mm -hmm. Queen Elizabeth. And they had a Rembrandt and a Michelangelo. They did have a Rembrandt. But you know, that Rembrandt, it was something. I it did, was this old woman. Yeah, it was called The Old Woman. And it was his mother. <laughs> I, I was going to tell you, I, it, it was kind of depressing to look at. I wouldn't want that hanging up on my they wall. They said that it was a, a, he did it for just to give that impression of the end of, of your age. life and age. And, of age and how he, you look and the bags and the, I like wouldn't the folds want, in your skin. I wouldn't want it either. But he did a beautiful job of painting it. He did, I but mean, she it, didn't look happy. It, no, she looked old. She looked old. And tired. And but but it, she, he did an excellent job of depicting what he she He did. Like. It, he did a wonderful job. Yeah, it was good. It was but good. at the same time that he did a wonderful job, it's like... Yeah, you wouldn't want that in your house. Yeah, that's not a happy picture. It's no, a I depressing agree. picture. But So we weren't allowed to film there, but everywhere else you can film. Yeah, everywhere else you can film. You can take pictures. Um, they're very, very friendly. They'll answer any questions you have. Uh, the the people in the gift shop are friendly. Just don't um, touch the ropes or reach over the ropes. No. There was a little girl, and she was, like, touching, just touching the ropes. Um, As she was walking along. And he said, don't touch the ropes because you'll make the, the, the alarms, uh, go, alarms off. go off. You can't, you can't do that. Um, yeah, you can't step over them or anything like that. Um, but... You know, you're talking not, about some stuff from the 1700s. Yeah, not or many, older. not many people are going to do that stuff 14, anyway. Yeah. So, um, so that good. was nice. Yeah, and then we left there, and we came, went to we actually came back to the hotel room. Yes, uh, we stopped on stuff. the way at uh, the souvenir shop, and I bought a um, sweatshirt. Yeah. At the yeah, sweatshirt <laughs> because it was so cold. Um, and then, um, then we came, dropped that stuff back off of the room, figured out where we wanted to go, and we ended up going to eat. We went to eat, And yeah. then we went to the British Museum. Yeah, and we and, walked through the British Museum. And the whole, you filmed some of are you going to make a video for that? We don't know yet. This is all, you know, we're in a room talking about it, but I don't know if you'll have enough to do a separate video I'll or not. I'll probably just put it all in one video. We'll see. I, I don't think there's enough there, but everything she taped was new. Yes. It was all new. So they had new, even though you, you go to the museum and there's a lot of the same, they change up things every couple of years to where it's still different. Right. So if you go back, you, you're going to, I didn't film everything, of course. No. But you can much. go back and you can watch the British Museum from, if you're interested, from when I did it a couple of years ago. And then you can add this year's to it. And that, I mean, it's it pretty much covers everything. It's a lot. It's a um, huge museum. So we left there and we went to uh, a co-op. <laughs> yeah, we went to a co-op because I was looking for some stuff. And, and we knew this was our last day. So. Yeah, and then we went to a Sainsbury's and I didn't find what I wanted in Sainsbury's. And then... We went back to Waterloo. Came back to Waterloo and we cashed, cashed our, our cards. Oyster cards. Our oyster cards had like 10 pounds. Yeah, I bet 13. you... 13. 
13. I bet they're deactivated now, too. We'll probably be able to use them again next year. Probably not. We'll next have to time. Get, we'll have to, did you hear what he said? I, I meant next year. Oh, no. No, no, no. He said <laughs> Definitely not coming back next year. <laughs> he said next year. Did you next hear that? Next time. <laughs> <laughs> um, they won't be good next time, but but it wasn't even good. We got our five pounds back. We anyway. got thirteen pounds each on our right. Oyster cards. Um, five pound deposit and uh, what we had left. And then we went over to Boots, and we went in M and S real mm -hmm. quick, and we didn't buy hardly anything. And then we just came, came back, back to our room, room and it been looked like out, a so. bomb went off in here for probably a half an hour. Yeah, because we were sorting out luggage and how we're gonna put things in and yeah, get well, half we, a grocery well, store home. Well, what I did was every time I would come home, come home, every time I would come back to the hotel room with food, I would film for you all. So there's going to be a big grocery haul. And so I film that every time. But the souvenirs, I always wait until the very last night and then I'll film the souvenir haul out on the bed. And so we got every single thing out of the suitcases, food, souvenirs, and everything. And we have to decide where it's going to go for the ride home. And I had to lay all the souvenirs out for the haul video for, for you all. Um, so we did that. Kevin wanted to, we brought four suitcases. Two little ones were in the two big ones. Yeah, two checked bags. When we, right. when we came, we brought two checked bags with other two carry-on suitcases inside those bags. Right. So Kevin was hoping uh, that we could make it home with, with just three. With just three. Two check bags and one to put in the overhead. Yeah, the carry-on. We, we were able to do that. I think so. I was very, very surprised, but uh, we actually were able to keep one of our bags in the big bag, and that way we'll only have to fool with one overhead bag yeah. tomorrow and that'll make things a lot easier on, it will. on Kevin. It will because you have to keep track of it. Not only do I have to pick that little sucker up and put it in the overhead, um, you have to keep track of it in the airport. You have to take it through security with you. Mm -hmm. See, we'll have to take that through security and get it scanned. It's just right. just a pain. And luckily, the, it, we don't it, have any liquids. Though. It just has dirty clothes in it. <laughs> yeah, take a, you want to search that all you want. Oh, to, they don't want to open that. No, because wet socks have made it funky. Yeah. Um, so the, yeah, that'll be, I'll probably have to wash those gloves twice. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, so yeah, that, uh, we were ready, I guess, ready to, yeah. to go. I well, told Kevin though, today, every single thing that we've done today has been a last. This is the last time we're going up this escalator at, Wal at Waterloo. Last time this we're getting is on the tube. The last time we're getting on the tube. This is the last time we're using our Oyster card. This is the last time we're going up this elevator or to our hotel room. And uh, so it's when we cashed out our Oyster cards, I told him, I said, it's very bittersweet for me. Um, just because it it means we're going home tomorrow. It means our, our trip is over and it's hard to believe it's already over. Mm -hmm. um, so that fast. Yeah. But what yeah. we do if you're just if you're curious, the money we got back because they give you cash back on yeah. the Oyster cards. We usually we we bought drinks and a few other things at the store tonight. Um, now I'm down to a pocket full of coins, which I hate. Um, but I'll probably we'll probably we usually use that up in the airport while we're waiting. Yeah, usually I spend it in the airport. It Even if we're amazing. buying a few little things here and there, we'll spend it in the airport and buy yeah, something. Yeah, it, it's amazing, which, you know, that's I'm glad you brought that up because we need to make sure there's enough room in that bag because if not, we'll want to move some of that stuff from Just that bag over buy there. Anything. Yeah, we can do Because if things. I buy anything in the airport, I like to shove it down in that, that carry-on bag. Yeah, I'm um, sure there's room. But you would think with all the stores that I go to, Oh, she won't find anything new in the airport. The airport has never let me down. I have always, always find something. finding new foods in the airport that I didn't see anywhere else the whole trip. And it's like, where was this the whole time? <laughs> and I'm not talking about like duty free stuff. No, I'm talking we've had about chips and candy bars. Yeah, and... regular the regular shops, but it's just in the airport. I really hope that you all enjoyed the video. Let me know if you enjoyed this format. Because if we go somewhere else, like if we go to Disney one year or something like that, we could give you a wrap up at the end of those days. Although we're usually so. <laughs> today, so. today we walk. So, how many steps do you do? Oh, I forgot to do. Cause see, Disney's different. 
Disney, the parks are open until late. Oh yeah, you stay out till 12 And you o'clock. stay out until midnight. Here, we're coming back to the room early enough to where I'm not Although dead tired. Although we came in pretty decent time tonight. It was like six o'clock yeah. tonight. It is, it's it's eight o'clock right now. Yeah. But we've I been doing a lot. I think we got here about six. We've had 17,393. That's pretty which decent. Which surprises me. That's pretty decent. Because we took we a- We took a lot of walking in Hampton though. We the did, but, I mean, but we were on a train for an hour there and an hour yeah. back, and it surprises me that we've had that many steps yeah. today. And as far I'm as fine. the weather goes, it was cool and kind of rainy. Cold. I it's mean, been better here. Once we got back to London, it was better. Cold enough cold. to wear to wear a hoodie. Yeah. I, I was comfortable. Once I got this on, I was fine. But when I was wearing a blouse earlier today, it was just so, yeah. it was miserable. And the lady in the souvenir shop, which we see her every time we come, um, she said it two weeks ago, it was hot. It was very, very hot. That, one more thing I'll add about that. Um, we have been here twice before at the end of May. I would come at the end of May. If you're wondering about the weather, people have asked me um, about coming to London, about the weather. Both times that we were here in May, it was perfect. It was sunny. Maybe we didn't really get much rain It or was anything. beautiful. There was hardly any rain. It was glorious blue skies. I would totally come again at the end of May if you're worried about the weather. Now, for me, even though it rained and all that and it was cold, getting to see the Queen made it worth everything to me. And I would have never gotten to see her if we had come at the end of May. Pretty we true. would have missed it because we're always back home by the time that happens. Usually we're, we like are gone on like June 2nd because mm -hmm. Ashley's birthday is on June 3rd. So we would miss it every single year. So for me, it was worth it. But if you want better weather, I would totally come at the end of my Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.